Okay, right, today I'm going to show you the great, great, great grandfather of the hamburger. Now, all around the Baltic region and North Germany, uh, people eat these little meatballs, the Swedish meatballs, and in Germany they form them into patties uh, to t turn them into frikadella. They're called a frikadella. Now, typically they're made with a mixture of pork and beef, um, ground pork and ground beef, or minced pork and minced beef, as we say in England. Um, so I've got half and half here. I've got um, 500 grams of minced pork and 500 grams of minced beef. Um, the, you need a level of fat in this dish, so don't go for the leanest beef. And the same with the uh, pork. Generally, put minced pork tends to come uh, around about 20% fat, and so and this is about 20% fat minced beef. Um, right, so you've got about 20% fat in volume of the meat. Um, so the next thing we do um, is we mix this with bread. Now the way we do that is to get a bowl, chuck your bread uh, all you can use dry bread or dry white bread or you can use uh, like I've done and I've just used a, a sort of floury bap as we call it up here and you need I get me trusty kettle and you just need to wet that down um, with some water and you'll see that sort of collapses the structure of the bread okay I'll let that cool off a minute and minute while that's happening I'm just going to chop up some onion because the next ingredient in this is a, is the onion uh, the old fricadella rather than its great 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 grandchild the hamburger we put the onions in into the um, patty so there we are back to my onion chopping skills again I'm going to use about that much about half of a medium sized onion and chop it up real fine. So I'm going to feather it. And chop it up real fine. I might have to take this to the sharpening stone again later. Another good thing to remember is to keep your knife sharp. You, you stand much less chance of cutting yourself with a sharper knife because it's less likely to ride and cause you issues. So, it looks a bit leathery so I'll leave it out and then what we do is chop it up really fine um, because you want to be adding this to a force meat to a patty yeah so that all goes in and as this lot comes ready you just chuck it straight into the bowl and that's why I like using these flat knives they're really good for lifting and chucking and the next thing we do is we get the pork, make sure it hasn't got the, if it's got any paper on the bottom, just chuck that in. And the beef. Very simple dish this, you know, guys. Now, the good thing about fricadella, as opposed to hamburger, is you can eat this cold, yeah? Um, and it, it's actually nice cold. Uh, I think they're probably nicer cold if you if you do put pork in them. You don't have to. You can make it all out of beef or all out of pork. Um, and elsewhere in the world, similar sort of things are made with lamb, uh, minced lamb, um, ground lamb meat. So, um, but they're all similar. It's just ground meat. And... Now the, you'll see the bread now has gone really sloppy and soft. So what I want to do is quickly is squeeze that through straight. Oh, I've done that. I'll do it over the sink, shall I? And then quickly get as much water out as you can, but you end up with this sloppy mixture. It doesn't look too good. Don't worry too much about the crust either, because that just, it, it all goes into the, the fricadella. So there we are. And 
you'll see there's just a little bit of water left over that can go away and you mix that in well be careful if you did put boiling water on the bread you know not to let it cool off a little bit before you start to use it um, and if you've taken the meat straight out of the fridge it does help you a little bit so I'm going to carry on mixing that and then I'll get back to you in a minute right you see now I've uh, ground it down a little bit more uh, sorry mixed it in a little bit more and I'm just going to salt it now and I would say you probably need about half a teaspoon of salt this is a force meat after all you do need a little more seasoning in a force meat as, you, as your grandma probably used to say you know if you're going to make sausage what you do is you season it and then you season it again I use good quality salt uh, this is Himalayan pink salt and um, also some nice black pepper and you can go nuts on that. I, mean, I love black pepper so I'm going to go nuts um, there you go for a little bit of variety as well as the onions you can also finely chop up some uh, red or green peppers or both uh, just a few pieces of that and then just drop it in and it gives the it also adds some colour I don't have any with me today so I'm just going to do the traditional recipe so there you are you'll see I've, I've fairly generously seasoned it and um, at this stage if it wasn't just if, it, if there wasn't ground pork in there I'd probably taste a bit of the raw beef and just see if it was seasoned uh, but because it's got pork in uh, the only way to test if it's seasoned is to fry a little bit or stick uh, stick a little piece in the microwave and give it a quick blast um, I know this recipe well and I, I know that I've added the right amount of salt for me um, but if, at this stage you could just take a little um, chestnut sized piece and uh, microwave it uh, allow it to cool off a couple of minutes have a taste and then see if you need to adjust your your, ta your, your uh, seasoning uh, if you're using just beef or any game uh, you can probably just taste it while it's raw um, but anyway here we are so I'll give that another final mix now the jury's out on whether you need to put an egg in this or not personally I don't and I'll tell you for why um, it, it I think this with pork it makes it sloppy enough if you've only got beef in there you might need to add an egg but the egg is a protein binder so why would you need a protein binder when the whole bowl is full of protein work that one out <laughs> so then you get it to the size you want you take off a pinch roll it into a ball come on we all know how to make hamburgers around about hamburger size and the traditional recipe would have called for the, for frying them um, but what I do is I bake them on a tray um, and that's it um, I'm going to finish making these up uh, I'll probably make a couple of trays of them up uh, but then what I'll do is I'll stick them in the oven uh, the next thing I need to tell you about I, I did tell you it was about 500 grams of this and 500 grams of that well that makes a kilogram and a kilogram is 2.24 pounds uh, imperial so um, there you go so it's a, about two two pounds like most burgers I like to put a little thumb hole in the middle so it rises nicely and evenly um, you can also y use this mixture to make a meatloaf um, I'm sure it's pretty much like like a standard sort of meatloaf um, that I know over there in the States you're rather fond of meatloaf and uh, over here we have a meatloaf made with I believe it's made with pork and beef and a similar recipe very similar to this which we allow to cool and slice and we call it hazelnut so it's, it's more or less the same there the, the actual recipe for the force meat is pretty generic okay so that's um, fricadella I'm going to come back um, after I've baked these in the oven right these go into an oven a preheated oven uh, at 200 degrees Celsius and that's 
give or take uh, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. There you see, right, we've got to, uh, in total, I, I, I managed to make 10 patties and uh, I've put them on two trays lined with foil and I'm going to tell you a little bit about these um, fricadellas and probably one of the possible and probable origins of, of the great American hamburger um, because all the people from the Baltic states I told you about earlier that had these snacks that would carry these snacks with them or put them in lunch hampers uh, when it was time to leave their native country and come to the USA they gathered up their belongings all their monkeys and parrots and they managed to get themselves to the embarkation port of Hamburg in North Germany and from there they sailed until they reached uh, and saw the Statue of Liberty welcoming the strangers and um, then on to be processed through Ellis Island. Um, another interesting point <laughs> is how a lot of German accented or German speaking or German origin people in the United States tend to get called Dutch and that's because uh, they would have said nationality and the German word for that is more or less the same and the guy would have said to the clerk Deutsch <laughs> and so it got translated as Dutch um, I'm sure many of you probably know that but um, uh, here we go with fricadellas uh, my... okay here we go into the oven and the second one so somewhere near the top of the oven and um, I'll cook those until they're done uh, but I would give them at least 20 minutes um, at that temperature and see how they're doing from there. So I'll see you in 20 minutes time. Right, here they are, uh, fresh out of the oven. And as you'll see, they're just starting to brown on top. It's at this stage uh, that I take them out and test them. Um, the way I test them for doneness is nearly always the same back to my trusty old just stab them and if you watch the pool as it comes out if it comes out with blood you don't want to be you want to put them in for a bit longer but I can tell and I know from experience that they're ready so the next thing I want to do you see all that juice and fat that's in the bottom I want to pull that off because we don't want to be eating that do we and at this stage you can either eat them hot uh, almost like a little mini meatloaf I suppose um, in a bun and um, or you can let them cool off and they're just as delicious in fact I believe personally that they're actually more delicious cold um, and normally with some nice uh, German mustard, some senf, uh, German senf mustard or Polish mustard. Uh, there's a lovely Polish mustard they put with horseradish and that is absolutely gorgeous and that's really nice with these as well. So um, there you are boys and girls, um, fricadellas. Great, great, great grandfather hamburger. Enjoy.